So anyway, I'm telling you, it was massive. Really? Yeah. No. So absolutely. Know. Guys, guys, come here, come see what I've made. Oh, Neil, go and play outside. I'm busy. Oh, please, come on, Rach, Heath, come on. No. I'll put bugs in your bed again. All right, okay, we're coming. Come and sit down on the sofa. Come and see this. It's okay. amazing. Come and see it. Come and have a look. What is it? Okay, you ready? Yeah. No? Okay. Ready? Go. It's Saturday the 26th of February and we're live and direct for a whole two hours. We have got an awesome show for you today and the Bedrock team is assembled and ready for action. Indeed, Big Ben of Weirdo from Fats and Small is back in flat. Hello, Hi, 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 Thank you, Monday. It's great to be back. <laughs> What's been the highlight of your week so far, apart from coming on Bedrock? Um, I nearly met Mariah Carey. <gasps> wow. I'll tell you more about it later. Oh, okay. Okay. Really? Okay. And have you won any awards since we last saw I you? I think I might have won one. You won an award? I anything? might have won just one. What did you win? Uh, so it's an RSA award in Germany. Wow. And wow. stuff like that. It's uh, for a German radio station. Everyone went, wow, like they knew what I was like, talking no. about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a German award, ladies Very and gentlemen. Good. Really? Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've got, got a swimming certificate. Does that count? No. no. <laughs> okay, the gorgeous Ed Sanders is back from Spain and with us today. And of course, Ryan, our video clerk as well. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. Touch. Okay, enough small talk. Let's give you our big lineup. Oh, yes. Big Ben will be checking out Will Smith's brilliant new video Thank and giving you and me the hot week's hottest pop gossip in downloads. Uh, in today's games pad, Ed Sanders will be uh, hailing a cab and giving us a guided tour of Crazy Taxi. Definitely the best Dreamcast game yet. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. And we'll be taking a look at the brilliant website for the new X Men. Movie, the guaranteed sci fi blockbuster that doesn't even hit the States until July. Mm, plus, Radio 5's Brendan Coogan will be tackling the trick of the week and taking, talking footy and basketball in today's sports desk. Uh, I hope he's feeling fit. Yep. So do I, actually. Yeah. And just for good measure, we've got the hot new videos from Stets and Nilsey. Now, that is going to be two hours well spent, I think. Ooh. Now, wow. I tell you what, you wouldn't think it would get any better than that, would you? No. 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 I tell you, what, what about if we had a top boy band, Northern Line? No. Yeah. 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 I understand you all at the Capital, like, the, uh, the, the Capital Radio Cafe this week. Yeah. You were mobbed by hundreds of girls, is that true? <laughs> oh, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it was, it was good. Did you get any phone numbers? What, no, we don't. We, we stay away from that. It's very professional, that's what I like to hear. Oh, well, impossible. we'll be seeing a lot more of Zach Warren, Dan, Michael and Andy throughout the show. Cool. Excellent. Okay, following swiftly behind the boys is a man that you've seen on your screen in Casualty and Reach for the Moon. It's the dreamy <laughs> Jonathan Kerrigan. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 How you doing, oh, Jonathan? Very well? good, thanks. Yeah. Excellent. What are you up to at the moment? Uh, I'm filming? filming the knock at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. So oh, I get to. Nice that's it. I get to oh. have guns and shoot people and things. Yeah. Oh, oh, only pretend <laughs> ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's very exciting. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Well, I'm going to be getting a bit closer to Jonathan later on for yeah, a bit of a one-to-one. You -one. get much further away. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I know, just my luck. And he'll also be trying his hand at a little bit of table footy okay, later yeah. on as well, yeah, which would be good. Yeah. Too much. Now, uh, we've given you something to get excited about. How about we give you something to do? Now, everybody got their CDs? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Everybody in the musical mood? Oh, yeah. 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 How about we play? Bob <laughs> Now, as you can see, the masses are assembled. We've got Northern Line boys. Hey, Jonathan's hey, over there hey, on the corner. Hey, hey. Big Ben from Fats and Small. Hey, hey. Steady Eddie. Ryan Abbey yes. Clark. And, of course, my lovely flatmates are here. The rules are simple. We play three of the hottest singles that are coming out next week, and then we vote for which single we think is going to chart the highest by sticking these CDs on that board over there. Now, the uh, we have to stick them, guys. You have to listen. We have to stick them to the 
next to the single we think is going to chart the highest, not necessarily not the one, the one we really like. like. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's the one we think is going to chart the highest. Every week, this series so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Heather, what's the first tune we're going to be okay, looking right. at? First up, guys, it's from NSYNC who visit us here on Bedrock. Mm. Their new single is the first from their as yet unreleased album, No Strings Attached. NSYNC created the storyboard for this video between the five of them. Mm. Quite interesting, I think you'll agree. And they've obviously caught the bug because it's rumoured the band will feature in a movie later this year called Jack of All Trades. Here's Bye Bye Bye. 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 Oh. It's attached, you see. Oh. Oh. Do you think of NSYNC? You're a fan? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am actually. I met them in 97 at a boys' own concert. Oh, really? Back in the good old days. Back in the good old days when I was a boy band. Really just like yeah. you boys did it. No, they're, they're, no, they're a great band. Definitely one of the best boy bands in the world, next to the Backstreet Boys and, and Northern Line. <laughs> 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 right, listen, get this, they lost out to wait for it. Emmy Lou Harris, Linda Ronstadt <laughs> and Dolly Parton at this week's Grammys in the best country collaboration no, category. No, really, that's terrible. No, just, wait, is that something that Fats and Small do you think would, would well, uh, do? Country, country yeah. Fats and Small, Big Ben, Garth Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm looking forward to that. And Rachel, what do you think of the idea of NSYNC launching a movie career? Fair play to them. They did pretty well in that, I have to say. Yeah. 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 They can act and dance and sing. At the same time. Fascinating. Look at that. Incredible. Okay, next up are our band who've also been on Bedrock. It's the Honeys. Yeah. Uh, the band are up against our big bands, Fats and Small, in the best newcomers category at the Brits. Where are you going from there? Sorry, girls. Sorry, girls. Fats and Small. Oh, okay. I voted for you. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's small all the way, but I do love the honeys. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, this track is the third <laughs> from their debut album, Wonder Number no. 8, which is on the verge of going platinum. Right. Here are the honeys with a very raunchy video for Won't Take It Lying Down. Woo! <laughs> Yes, please. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, what do you think of their raunchy new look? It's wow. very raunchy. Wow. Wow. It's wow. very raunchy, isn't it? Yes. And they look gorgeous, but I have to say, I think the car had a particularly sexy styling what, didn't it, <laughs> Was there a car? Was there a car? <laughs> Andy, do you think they're a better group now with their, their new band member, Mariama? Mariama? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're pretty good before, but I think yeah. it's yeah, added a bit of version of Sequoia, je pense. I think oh, that yeah. Yeah. Maybe they felt like yeah, they needed to prove something because they, 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 I think their, their profile shot up when yeah. when Heavenly left, didn't it? Really, yeah, yeah. and everyone started going, "Oh, who are these girls?" Yeah. Maybe it did yeah. them a favour. Yeah. Jonathan, where do you reckon it's going to chart? Uh, number 140. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Not, not a big like fan. Oh, isn't the higher number better? Do you think it's going to go number one? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I'd certainly give them one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know what you might. Uh, <laughs> Neil, Neil, which is your favourite? I have to say Nomo. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, right on. Which is the oh, reason right why? Oh, she's, oh gorgeous. she's gorgeous, but the thing is, I recently jumped into the honeys and they told me on telly, on, on camera, that they thought that Neil was the sexiest man on TV. Oh! Yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> and they're not alone, obviously. Uh, today's, let's move on, though. Today's final entry is Madonna. Uh, this oh, yeah. new single is produced by the great William Orbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, she's currently recording her new album, also to be produced by William Orbit in his London studios. It seems Madonna has gone a bit Brit mad recently, as well as new man Guy Ritchie and buying a home here. She's also searching for a school in England for her daughter Lourdes. Uh, here's Maddie and American Pie. Error. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to say, I think that's really brilliant. No. 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 Too young to remember the original. The original but... <laughs> Sega, in fact, I had a great yeah. story. Don McLean, someone said to Don McLean once, because you know, no one really knows what it's about, because it's about loads of different things. Money. Well, that's what they reckon. But yeah. they said, Don, what's it actually about? And he said, well, that's, it's actually about the difference between me having to work and never work again. Because it's been <laughs> such a massive world wide hit. And it was such a good original. Yeah, it's brilliant. Though. I mean, Andy, what, what do you think? Do you prefer the cover version or the original? Um, I see it's got to be the original. I think, yeah. you know, if you're not going to improve on the original, exactly. then don't do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's not my opinion, but it's, it's a mixed yeah. opinion. And are, are you a fan of Madonna generally? Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what's no, your, she's what's brilliant. your favourite Madonna track? Um, it's got to be like a version, hasn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 
stranger. That's amazing as well, isn't it? Beg your pardon? Beautiful strangers are brilliant. Fantastic. Well, isn't it? well produced, yeah. Good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna the actress or Madonna the singer? Uh, I go Madonna the singer. I do like her last album, William Orbit, the whole, that whole yeah. bit is really mm. fantastic. I don't yeah. like the actress bit, but that is just absolutely dreadful. I anyway, know. there you go, you've seen all the videos right now, but which one is going to enter the charts the highest next weekend? That's the point, which one's going to enter the charts the Not highest? Not our favourite. CDs at the ready, everyone? Yes. yes. Come on, guys, said CDs at the ready. Yes. Come on! Yes. Okay, we've got 15 seconds to... Bob Excellent. Well, we've got a tie. Oh, right. Uh, I think I've, I've counted that correctly. We reckon that yeah. either the Honeys or Madonna are going to go in at Equally the high. highest. <laughs> uh, interestingly, SMTV this morning, NSYNC was the people's favourite. Really? So really? they seem to think that that one's going to be the highest, but... Who was the person who put it on NSYNC? That's... Can I just start? Uh, OK. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you go, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's better. There again, that was our... Oh, We've all warmed up a bit now, so I think it's the perfect time to sort out our three, two, one. Fetch! Now, I have to say, when you want something fetched, who are you going to call? It's the bounty hunter that makes Boba Fett look wet. It's Tess Daly! <laughs> Thank How you. are you doing? You're She's looking fantastic. Great. Thank you. Great. Great. Okay, well, Tess, tell our guests what it is we make you do every week. Okay, well, basically, you send me out to fetch you How people you with out? weird <laughs> skills. <laughs> send me out on the streets yeah. so they can perform for your amusement at the end yeah. of the show. Lovely. Okay. They do. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I think it's time to find out what you're going to be fetching for us this week. So, Neil, if you can, Sorry, do your wheel. Sorry, Neil, jump over okay. here. Watch Right, Neil, you behind each... Good Behind each panel in the bench finder is a different mission, and there's only one way to pick one. Randomly, Kelly. That is goal celebrators, which comes in from Claire in Brighton. Okay, now you've got until the end of the show, Tess, to find the best goal celebrator in town. Okay. Now, if you, the kind of thing you're looking for is, imagine me in shorts with kind of muddy knees. I rather not. I like it. I like it. Just put one past the keeper. Yes, come on. Round <laughs> 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 of applause. Thank you. That's the sort of thing you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay, well, you know what you've got to fetch for us, Tess. You've had a demo, so no excuses, because in three, two, one, we want you to fetch! <laughs> Come on. See ya. Oh, Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone's here with us live until the end of the show, so if you want to ask any of our guests a question, or you want Big Ben to celebrate a goal for you, then mm. please get in touch <laughs> on these numbers. Yes, you can call us on 0870 600 6606. You can send us a fax on 0870 600 7707. Or even email us on bedrock at itv2.co.uk. And also call the same numbers if you want to enter any of our competitions. We have got brilliant prizes today. A supply of a year's chocolate. Well, nearly a year's Ooh, supply of chocolate. We've, had, yeah. we've eaten quite a lot of it, but it's still a year's supply There's of chocolate. There's about a year's How supply of chocolate. It's pretty cool. We have, as yet, an unreleased Friends video box set. We'll be showing you a very cool clip of later. It's got Elle McPherson in, which is very yeah. exciting. She's lady. And as well as just get this, a complete outfit for a guy or a girl worth 200 quid. Mm. How good is that? That is yeah. very good. I think that's excellent. OK, after Sorry. the break, Radio 5's Brendan Coogan will be trying his hand at top sportsman's trick in today's punishing trick of the week. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And I'll be analysing Jonathan Kerrigan and um, finding out all his deepest, darkest Ooh. secrets. The Bedrock Standards Council will be back in business and going out amongst the people in Britain to check out your safety on the streets. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Ed Sanders will be showing me the best Dreamcast game ever made in today's bulging games pack. Oh, no. bulging. Yeah. bulging. Now, how much do we look after Too you? Too much. I ask it. You're watching television, you're watching ITV2. And we are, everybody, Bedrock! <laughs> Welcome.
Welcome back to Bedrock. Coming up, Ed Sanders has got not one, but two Red Hot exclusives in the games pad. The Standards Council will be testing out the latest in boxing equipment, and Rachel will be exploring the minds of Reach for the Moon's Jonathan Kerrigan. But now, it's time for Trick of the Week, where we make Brendan watch incredibly talented sports people perform amazing tricks so he can do them in the studio. Are you feeling fit and flexible today? As fit and flexible as I get, Heather. I'm, can can I'm... I just check? <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> not particularly fit, but anyway, never mind. Well, this week's trick comes from the National Trio Aerobic Gold Medalists made up of, wait for it, Sarah Needham, Anuska Mistry and Kelly Snape. Now, the discipline requires strength, grace and flexibility. Are these qualities that you think you might possess? Grace, flexibility. And strength. You know, I'm here to disprove the theory. You can't teach an old dog new tricks because I can do new tricks. <laughs> Okay then, <laughs> let's take a look at the trick. Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Anushka. This is Kelly. We train at Heathrow Sports Aerobics Club. We're the current British champion, and this is our favourite move. Now try that. <laughs> right, right. Woo! Brendan, did you think we were going to make you do that trick? Do you, um, do you know I do that every morning? Well, did you think we were going to make you do that trick? No. Well, we are. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't wait for this. Would you like a bit of support on this one? Because it's really quite tricky. Yes, please. Okay, yes, I I'm... know just the person. Yes. <laughs> Personal cheerleader. <laughs> Brandon, you're so stretchy. You make other sportsmen touchy. Get down low with style and grit, and I'll kiss you upon your face. Well, there you Woo! go. Yeah, very right. good. Nice <laughs> encouragement, Brandon. A possible kiss from Rachel. Although, having seen the trick, I have to admit I'm not overly filled with confidence. So, uh, prove me wrong, please. Right. <laughs> Assume the position. Right. Okay. Come on. Get ready. And drum roll, please. Yeah. Woo! Go on. Oh, I think I pulled something. <laughs> Coming up, Ed Sanders will be revealing a UK exclusive that's Odium in the games pad. But now it's time to run for cover as we mix boys with toys. <laughs> so, obviously, it was never going to hinge that far. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is the Bedrock Standards Council, where safety comes first, second, and third. Because in the business of gadget testing, you can never be too careful. The man's right. Every week, we aim to take you to the cutting edge of consumer information, cutting. and we do this by employing three, three. Bu brutally thorough tests. Tests. The Ben and Neil test. That's us. The Joe Public test. That's you. And the guest test. That'll be the guest. Uh, first off, in the Ben and Neil test, Ben and I will be testing these inflatable boxing gloves. Mm. Now, these are perfect if you're feeling like relieving stress with the like workouts. All you do is blow them up and strap them on. Sounds like fun, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm happy to say they're very safe, uh, but can get very annoying if you don't actually <laughs> have any yourself. Um, Neil, we need to examine the interest rate. Um, how long would this keep you interested for? Uh, as long as you've got a face. <laughs> Is it a pass or a fail? It's a pass. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> now it's time for the second test. Which What's is... that called? Oh, yeah. The Joe Public test. This mm. is where we take testing to the place outside of, the course, the Joe Public test. Uh, facing today's Joe Public test is the Tim Flying Bird. Budgies are so 20th century. So 20th century. The latest in pet birds is 20 centimetres Only long and long. Plastic. plastic. You wind it up, wind let it, it up, go, let and it, it go. flies. No. Simple. You are. Anyway, it would have contravened our safety standards to fly it in the lab, so we sent it out into the field. Here are the results. Hi, my name's Claire, but you know me better as Joe Public. Today, the Bedrock Standards Council sent me here to test out the new Tim Bird, so let's give it a go. Woo! He's colourful and he flies beautifully. I loved him. It's a pass. <laughs> Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? Who's the... Sorry. There you go. A pass for the plastic bird. You weren't even listening. It's good to get a fresh pair of legs, eyes and hands, hands. to test the products. products. And that's why we have 
the guest test. Te test. <laughs> uh, guest testing today is exactly twenty percent. Twenty percent. Top boy band Northern Line. It's Dan. Here he comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the closing doors. There we go. Uh, now, uh, Dan, thanks for coming to the council. Thank Welcome you, to the uh, Standard Council, Dan. Would you say you are the most safety conscious of the Northern Line boys? I think I am very safety very conscious. Good. Uh, well, good. We don't accept loose discipline no, or no. loose things of any sort in this council no. chamber. So before we go any further, would you please put on the standard issue safety glasses? Yes. Now, we would like you to test for us the mini oogly. There so, we are. Uh, okay, then. as Brian Cant once said, play away. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Are the little go. brothers of those oh. huge Christmas sellers, Ooglies. Uh, you pull their tails, as Dan is ably demonstrating there, uh, and the, their eyes light up and uh, gibber away in their own little language. You can like even pull with your teeth if you like. <laughs> <laughs> now, there is in fact an entire family of mini ooglies to collect. There we go, that's another one of the family. Now, Dan, it looks like, <laughs> looks like you've been enjoying yourselves and interacting with the ooglies for quite a while now. Uh, does it scare you or are you growing to love it? Uh, I'm quite growing to love it, actually. It's in quite useful. OK, and uh, now tell us, would it be a pass or a fail in your opinion? I think I'd pass it, because when you're stressed, you can... <laughs> Give it a right good... <laughs> yeah, good <laughs> that, 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 I'm sorry, that was genuine emotion <laughs> on, uh, in the Bedrock Standards Council. Uh, I'm afraid we can't allow that, that almost contravenes safety procedure. But oh, I'm just it, hearing we can pass it. There we go. We can pass it. There we go. Um, Thank you very much, Dan. Thank uh, you. Now, don't touch the toys once they've been passed. I'm a bit worried about oh, him. He's, he's a loose wire. Um, great testing. Cable. We hope you've enjoyed yourself here. I have indeed. Thank okay. you. Um, you can Unfortunately, go now. though, as a non council member, we have to ask you to leave. Uh, you can, well, help wait yourself. Why don't you? Offer. <laughs> you can wait till we offer. No, just take it. Put no, the glasses no. on the table. Get out. <sighs> Never get the testers. There you go, as you can see. Look at about the other council. four. So there it is. <laughs> this week we've approved the Tim flying bird, the boxing gloves, and the ugly minis. Now, uh, unfortunately, we can't close the council until we've addressed the glaring safety issue that was raised this week. We are yes. very upset. Absolutely devastated. We were just starting to think that our message was getting through to just you out there you. Uh, when this week we were tipped off Literally. by one of our agents in the field. In we the were field. Tipped into a field <laughs> about a serious lack of safety in a built-up area. Not, not an a field. Not a field, a built-up area. We rushed to the scene, and do you know what we found? Have this. a look. The standards council has come to Trafalgar Square to realise just where the public puts safety. Professor Cole. Excuse me, this is a clearly a very slippery area. Um, can I ask you what precautions you've taken not to fall over, please? Well, uh, well I hold on to you, I think. That would be the right thing, wouldn't it? Would very good, sir. You Thank you. Right. So we've proved, I think, that the Bedrock Standards Council can provide a handrail... Uh, banisters. ...banister for the general public to put safety first... Second. ...and third. Can we go now? Giddy up. <laughs> It took us hours to get back on that horse. Yeah, what a couple of Trafalgar squares. Uh, please, <laughs> please let this be the last time we have to be called out. The and last Remember, time. we can't be there all of the time to ensure your safety. Unfortunately. Now, the Bedrock Standards Council will be in session <laughs> next week. Until then, we beg of you, keep safety first, second, and third. Good day. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Dr. Brady's psychiatry session with me, Dr. Rachel Brady, BSc, VIP, and TCP. Some of you may recognize my latest patient as Casualties Nurse Sam, but others may have seen him more recently on ITV's new Friday night drama, Reach for the Moon. Jonathan Kerrigan, welcome to my world. Hello. How are you? You well? Yeah, very good, thanks. Yeah. Okay, well, you're obviously an incredibly busy man, so I think you should just sit back and relax then. You know, uh, take your time. Uh. Perfect. I feel yeah. like I haven't been to bed for years. Thank you. Ah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Right, now, in Reach for the Moon, your character Paul is in a bit of a messy love triangle. Mm. Now, I know it's probably a little bit painful, but can you tell me a bit about it? Well, it is painful, but, uh, mm. but yeah, I'm, I'm all set to get married to Jackie, uh, mm -hmm. my fiance, uh, and everything's going swimmingly until the first love of my life, Annie, comes back to the island, <laughs> to the Isle of Wight. Yes. Uh, and she kind of puts spanner in the works, really, oh. because I'm, it's a tug of love. I'm not sure which to choose. So. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you haven't seen her in 10 years or something, isn't it? I haven't seen her in 10 years. No, she left the island, said she'd return a year later, and I didn't see her. After they say that. absence makes the heart grow fond of 10 years. A little bit excessive. Yes, but, yeah, yes, okay. yes. And uh, Paul is obviously a little bit confused. Now, which do you think he's more suited to, Annie or Jackie? Or oh, can you tell that's me that's a this? tricky one. I can't give the game away. All but, right. Uh, I think he's more suited to Annie. Probably. Really? Probably at the moment, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, I think so. Interesting lucky girl. Yeah. OK, well, to help us understand a little bit of what your character has been through, I want to take a quick look at what you have to deal with at the moment. Here you are here. 
Love's young dream takes another hammering. God, they get themselves in so deep, don't they? Well, it's important to them. Oh, it's important now, but I remember being that age. Three weeks I've got bored and gone off with his best mate. Ford have forgotten all about him. Anthony won't forget. Yeah, but it's not the same, is it? I mean, you can't compare Anthony and Josie, two teenagers at the beginning of their first relationship, with the way we feel about each other. I mean, we're making commitment for life. Do you know, I didn't realise you could be so patronising. Just because you didn't find somebody you wanted to spend the rest of your life with at 15, doesn't mean it can't happen and can't last. Mm, now, an awful lot of emotions flying around the place there, definitely. Can you explain to me exactly what was going on in that scene? Oh, 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 yeah. Well, it's, 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 she's talking about love and she's yeah. talking about uh, um, two, two kids who are at the school. Um, I mean, they're six formers. Uh, and it's kind of mirroring my relationship with Annie. That's right. Uh, when that happened. When I was he's 18. leaving as well. Yeah, That's so right. he's leaving. So uh, Jackie doesn't know this yet, but I'm kind of the subtext is there. I, I'm arguing my point. Subtext, like I just like that a lot. Yes. Mm, okay. Well, I've heard an awful lot about the show, but especially about a very strange hobby. Can you tell me about this hobby that the character Paul has? Oh yes, he. It, this is what attracted me to the part actually. Mm -hmm. He likes building amateur rockets to try amateur and get rockets. into space. And do you yeah. actually have to use rockets yourself? Well, we, we have. Uh, yeah, I mean these are big 18 foot monsters you know they oh. have to clear it with the police and civil aviation they're a big business you incredible know. but yeah we were st we were standing on the gantry mm -hmm. and uh, and all the flames were licking underneath us uh, and it sort of singed my leg hairs so it is you know, Ooh, i'll stuff. have a look at that later on i'm also a medical doctor <laughs> right <clears throat> now what does the real jonathan do in his spare time uh i i, I like to do a lot of music really i've got a studio oh. at home so oh, I lock, yeah. lock myself in there for Good hours way and to hours relax. And Definitely. What sort of music? What do you play? Uh, it's sort of kind of Bristol soundy, trip hop, massive attacky, that sort of thing. Mm, very good place. for the soul. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Okay. Well, now I want to take you away from all this. Now I want to ask you, what's the first thing you think of when you see this colour? Mother. <laughs> right. We'll have to make a note of that. <laughs> Right, excellent. <clears throat> now, it's time to regress, although I'm quite nervous about doing that right now. If, if you lie back, I'll just... Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, very good. Right now, we're going to regress. Close your eyes. Now, how hard was it for you to decide to leave casualty? It was quite easy, actually. Yeah, really? I, Why did you find it easy? I've been doing it for three years, and I don't think they could have take my character any further really mm. uh, so it was getting a little bit the same each week oh, for me oh. so uh, it was nice to go out and do something different it's good to do new things it definitely is. and I'm going to bring you back even further now you appeared in Biker Grove <laughs> and I need to know in a totally professional capacity um, who has the most luck with the ladies is it Ant or Deck mm, with the ladies yeah um, that would have to be they're both equal. They they're pulling power. And it's monumental. and deck. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Jonathan, I think this has been a most positive session. Um, I think that you are now going to be relaxed, find yourself very relaxed for the rest of the day. However, I will see you for a little bit of musical therapy later on. Lovely. So you'll be prepared for that. If any of the rest of you would like to take a closer look at Jonathan as I have, tune in to Reach for the Moon every Friday at 9 p.m. on ITV and at 10:30 p.m. every Sunday on March the 12th on ITV2. But for now, this. Come on, man. Sorry I'm late, Ed. Sorry about that, mate. I'm really sorry. Hello. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, come on, I'll talk to you about it later. Got to okay, to. fair play. Welcome to the Games Pad. How are you doing, Ed? Very good. I'm sorry I let you down. That's all right, mate. Have a it's game. great to have you back. You have been in Spain. What I you have. To? I've been filming Dream Team in Spain. Have you? Yes. And what time it was? Was it fun? Yeah, Not brilliant. too hard work? Uh, if I say yes, do you believe me? No. Cool, I won't exactly. say yes. Exactly. And um, when can we see the, the Spain episodes of Dream Team? This Spain episodes will be on your screens in about five, six weeks' time. Lovely. Look forward to it. All right, um, now that you're safely back here where you belong, let's start things off properly with the three bit game news with me, Neil Cole, on violin. Props this week. Okay, here we go. I'll just lay it. Take your time, mate. Take your time. Essence of Nigel Kennedy there. Yeah. Sega and Swatch are to produce a watch capable of receiving information downloaded from Dreamcast, which can then be transferred to other consoles. <laughs> the team who developed Tony Hawk's Pro Skate team are close to completing their Spider-Man game for the PlayStation and N64. Players will be able to become Spidey with dizzying first-person views, Spider-Sense and a web shooter. Yes, 
so may eat you higher. And finally, two days ago, Microsoft registered the domain name www.xbox.com. We can now log on and keep tabs on the uh, next big console prime to rival the PlayStation 2. And that was the three-bit game news with me, Neil Cole, on violin. All right, now, let's go next door to this week's burning rubber game. Big game! <laughs> Taking on the big game this week is Zach from Northern Line. Hi, Zach, how you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, how much time do the band uh, spend playing games like this? Uh, not enough. Not enough. Who's the best game player? Um, I think Andy's like to think he is, but I'm, I am, yeah. Well, it's a good thing we've got you in because you picked a fantastic week to come on. Uh, if you want to start playing the game... No problem, I'm in reverse at the moment. Well, you want to try... So. There you go, the drive forward. Okay. Uh, it's, it's actually this game, uh, Crazy Taxi, is being hailed as the best game yet on the Dreamcast, and it's out this weekend. Neil and I have been playing it all week. We can't put it down. It's absolutely fantastic that you want to try and pick someone up. Yep, it would be good idea. That's good. Right, now what you do is you play a manic taxi driver who must collect as much cash as possible as he drives his passengers around the city. You're under strict time limits, so you must take shortcuts through the city's uh, little back alleys and stuff. Now, your taxi never gets trashed, so you can go as berserk as you like, wipe out as much as you like, and everything in your path, as much as Zach is, Zach is doing very well just here. Ooh. But you've got to pick people up and drop them off and get extra money and Ooh. see how much money you can get. Now then, as you can see, Zach's having a great time tearing through the city, terrorising the people. Uh, where are you aiming for? Uh, I'm not dropping them off, I'm just going for a bit of fun here. Oh, OK, you've got no, something no, in the back. I'm aiming for this, where this green arrow is going, I've okay. got to follow. That's right, you follow the green arrow. There's lots of cars in the way. That's a shame, isn't it, yeah. roads? There you go. Oh, you're heading for, the, I think that's the Levi's yeah, that's store. Levi's store, fantastic. And what, OK, if you drop off, fantastic, there you go. Oh. Made the drop off, and if you stop, cool. Now, if you've got to pause it for a sec, is that? No problem. Um, it's a great game, we've had great fun with it, but we need to know your opinion. What's the best bit? OK, I'd say the best bit is probably... Ooh, um, just, just, it's just a great game and just the fun of driving through and just causing mayhem. And it's really fast, it's really addictive. It's well, very, very it? fast and addictive. And it obviously looks absolutely fantastic. It does, it does. Uh, what's the worst bit? I'd say the worst bit, the music's very repetitive. Mm. Um, it's good at the start, but then it just goes on a bit. Should have a bit of Northern Line on there. Oh, Thank Northern Line going. can do too badly on that one, I think. It is, it got, it's kind of uh, offspring or something like that, so it's quite I think hard. It is. It's American um, sort of rock, rock band. Yeah, and it gets a bit. And like it would be good if well. it was two player. I've got it to say. would, yeah. There's only one player option, which is a bit of a shame, but maybe exactly. that's Crazy Taxi 2 coming out very soon, obviously. Well, we shall see. Uh, um, have you got any top tips? Uh, top tip, my top tip of the day is take shortcuts through mm. the fields. You get loads more money, don't you? You get loads more money and you just quicker, really. Yeah, it is a great game, uh, but we do need to ask, I think we know already, what, does it get the Bedrock of Priest again? I'm afraid to say it does, yes. Do you want to stick that on the TV for us? There you go. That's fantastic. Uh, uh, a, a big up to Crazy Taxi. It's an absolutely brilliant game. Um, thank you very much for no testing that thank one you for us. Uh, we'll see you in the crowd for a bit of table tackle later on. Definitely. Brilliant. But right now it's back to the boys next door. Well, I think you can uh, stop now. Ed. Two more seconds. <laughs> Raw. Ah, that's cool. enough. That's brilliant. I have to say, I think now with uh, Soul Calibur and Crazy Taxi, it's worth the Dreamcast alone. What, what games? Exactly. What games can you stop? Uh, anyway, uh, it's it. time to have a look at what's cooking on my keyboard in Easy PC. Now, what have you got for me this week? Well, Ed? my friend, this week I have another. British TV, UK exclusive. The game is called Odium, Isn't and it is out this week. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, go on then, tell me about it. And it's well, my right friend, here. you play as Lieutenant Cole Sullivan. Any relation, big man? <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> Strange. Uh, who's, a, who's on a mission to uncover a deadly secret that has a serious repercussions for the human race. Now, the play is drawn into a world of grim conspiracy and deadly confrontation to fight and explore. Yeah. And you face hideously deformed hybrids uh, that are part human, part machine, There's one there, and look. part beast, <laughs> which is quite exciting. Yeah. Um, OK, there we go. You can see one of those part machine, part, part machine human, type human, things, human beast things. And that's Cole Sullivan. Now, I have to ask you, uh, what would you say is the best thing about this game? It's got to be like the conspiracy horror type storyline. Really? It is good for that. It's quite in-depth, is it? It is quite OK, what do you reckon would be the worst bit? The worst bit is uh, quite a biggie for me. It's just so dreary and drab, and it's just slow. Don't get me wrong, you play for hours and a fun bit will come up, which right. involves explosion and shooting. It lasts for a couple of seconds and it's back to dreary and drab. I mean, dreary and drab's all right if it's Metal Gear Solid. Whoa, 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 let's just stop there. Let's what? just not put Metal Gear Solid in the same league as this game, all right? Really? No. Nah, OK. I will get a little bit upset. Sorry, Ed. Cool. I've obviously touched the nerve there. Just a small uh, one. Uh, all right, are we going to give it this Bedrock of Boon sticker? Well, for that sort of outrageous outburst, no. <laughs> all right? I don't know what I've done. 
I'm sorry. I, I said, I won't say it again. Metal get. Don't even say it, all sorry. right? Sorry. Thanks very much, Ed. Um, before you go, completely mental, before you go, <laughs> uh, keep us happy. Yes, a quick I... peek into the gaming future. Well, my friend, this week's preview is yet another UK exclusive. Superb. It is called uh, MDK2. It's right. on the Dreamcast, and it's the more powerful sequel to the original MDK. MDK. Cool. How do you know that? <laughs> it's a guess. It's a guess. <laughs> now, listen, you play Strange Dark um, uh, as a... You play Kirk Hectic as... Right. Uh, in the strange dark world, and you have a play as Kirk Hectic, Max the Robotic Dog, or the nutty eccentric Professor Dr. Right. Hawkins. Okay. Now you run through amazing, uh, surreal 3D landscapes, mm -hmm. brilliant graphics, wow. different class, and wait. it is out in the middle of April, and it is priced at 39 British pounds and 99 pence. I can't wait for that. That sounds good, Ed. I like it your is. style. Let's take a peek. Um, skills in the driving game? Uh, not very good. Yeah. Not very good. What are you doing to my hair? It's quite a good look, don't you think? Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 lovely, lovely. Nice. Don't so buy those things. <laughs> now, if you're a boy or a girl and you fancy winning a complete kicker's outfit worth £200 that includes shoes, trousers, a jacket, and tops, then call in and answer this qualifying question. Warren. What colour is Manchester United's home strip? Is it A, black and white? Is it B, red? Or is it C, sky blue with a hint of olive? Mm-hmm. Mm. If you can answer that question and you fancy winning the prize, call in and tell us who you want to back in a table football match between Ed Sanders or Jonathan Kerrigan. Dan has the numbers. The number is 0870 that's 0870-600-6606 and the calls will be charged at national rate, which is about 10 pence a minute. Absolutely, I have to say there's some brilliant prizes in here. I mean, the clothes just really gorgeous. Now, Thank after the break, Brit nominee Big Ben Ofuedo from Fats and Small will be showing me the new Will Smith video and telling us how he got stood up by Mariah Carey. Does that sound good to you too? Sounds very good to yeah. us. Yeah, well, Absolutely. take us to the break, please. Mariah Carey. You're watching television, you're watching ITV2. And this is Bedrock. It is Bedrock. This is so nice, isn't it? It's such a good prize. Excellent. OK. Well, um, welcome back to, to Saturday's Bedrock. No, um, coming up, Ben Afuero from Fats and Small will be um, showing Heather Whee. the new Will Smith video, Freaking It. And Ed Sanders, you tired there, Ben? I'm cool, yeah. I'm cool. And Jonathan Kerrigan will be battling it out within our footy face-off table tackle. So which football team do you support? I don't support, but I like Watford because it's my hometown. Um, oi, oi, come on! <laughs> they get so competitive about it, you know? And who do you think is going to win table tackle? You're going to go for Ed or I'll Jonathan? I'll place my bob on Jonathan, I think. Really? Well, yeah. Ed has all that, you know, dream team experience, yeah. footy experience. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think Jonathan's a bit more up for it. Really? Yeah, I reckon, so I've been oh, told. OK. Well, Andy, we have some important work to do. It's time right. to check up on. Three, two, one. Fetch! <laughs> OK, at the start of the show, we sent Tess Daly out amongst the people of Britain to fetch us the person with the best girl celebration routine that she could find. I know we always like to keep tabs on her progress, so let's see how she's doing. It has been a bit of a challenge today finding some real raw emotion on the streets, what these guys have got it going on, and I reckon there's a goal in the offing. Oi! Oh, and they oh. scored! Oh, 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 oh. The best you me! The best the best OK. Classic. <laughs> That's our test. Uh, <laughs> OK, what's been the best girl celebration you've ever seen? Uh, if you remember a while back, you saw the, the Aylesbury Ducks. Did you see them all waddling around the pitch like that? Um, ah. That's kind of near my hometown, so I was quite impressed with that. Really? The yep. duck one? OK, and what about your best shot? What do you reckon you... Can you do one? Because they usually kind of take off their clothes, I've noticed. You know, they tend to, is like that, Neil is, did earlier. Are you trying to...? No, nothing at all. Come on. OK, well, we'll be checking up on <laughs> Jess's progress with another report later on. But right now, it's all kicking off next door. Uh, yes. Hi, Today's match promises to be a real classic. It's a top of the table clash, and the crowd are charged like a highly charged battery. Yes, we're ready to play. Table tackle! Table tackle! It's all in the wrist, there's never a goal missed this. Table tackle! 
OK, uh, now, let's introduce the players. Just back from Spain, where he's been training with the Dream Team, it's Bedrock's own Steady Eddie Sanders! <laughs> OK, opposite Ed, uh, not but the opposite of Ed, just opposite Ed, uh, giving it maximum wrist and backing it up with a healthy forearm, it's Jonathan Carrigan! It's only one, Jonathan! Only one, Jonathan! Oh, I believe... Sing this song! Shut up, Ben! We've got two eager beavers on the phone. Hello, I think on line one we've got Adam supporting Ed. Is that right? Hello, Adam? Hello. Adam! Hey! hey. Now, of course, you called in knowing that Manchester United play in red at home. Uh, what kind of game plan, Adam, do you think we should have for Ed? Mm, don't know. <laughs> wow, that's, and if that's right, how Kevin Geegan got where he is today. Uh, now, what, can I just have a little example of your support, though, shouting and that kind of thing? Pardon? Can you shout yeah, loudly yeah, for yeah, Ed? Probably. Yeah, most probably. <laughs> Most probably, lovely. Yes. OK, uh, and uh, for uh, Jonathan, we've got Carrie, I believe, on line two. Hello, Carrie. Hiya. Hi. Hiya. Uh, Hi. What, have you got any advice for our Jonathan here? Um, score goals. Yes! yes. yes. OK, now, I'm going to give you another chance. Right I want yes. you to make loads of noise now, just to give us an example of your encouragement. Go on, shout now. Good job, That's better, yeah. OK. Right. Listen up, everybody. The rules are very simple. If the player that you've backed wins the match, you win today's brilliant prize, which is, as if you've forgotten, a full outfit of the oh, latest spinning? gear, shoes, jackets, tops, right, and tra cool. trousers, yeah, trainers. Uh, yeah. Players, it's a game yeah. of two halves. Okay? No spinning. Each no spinning. one spinning. being 20 seconds long. No spinning, and any touching of the ball with your hands will result in a penalty. Come okay? Come I want you to shake hands now. I want a fair game. All right, you ready? Go on, steady. Go on, steady. Oh, 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 that's half time. That is half time. Oh, so it's one nil to Ed. You don't choose. Here we go. There's an orange. Thank Cheers. You. Okay. Uh, right. Um, you ready? Yeah. It's one nil to you, Ed. There we go. Callers, want your encouragement? Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Go. Oh, oh, get it back. Oh, Stick it in. Come on, Johnny Kay. Come on, Johnny Kay. Oh. Oh. Come on, Johnny Kay. Oh. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. We need luck. Oh. Oh. At the moment, it's 2-1. It's 2-1 on the moment. Table tackle. Oh. Table tackle. Oh. It's all in the list. There's never going oh. It's table tackle. Oh. 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 Great, Jonathan. I'm sorry. We lost 2-1. Yeah. Ed, oh. you won. Which means to Adam, the lethargic corner has won. Yeah. Adam, you have won two hundred pounds worth of cool clothes. Are you chuffed? Yeah. Excellent. You broke a sweat. Fantastic. And uh, Carrie, unlucky, you phoned in. Thanks very much for getting in touch. Phone again next time. See you, Carrie. Bye. Cool. Bye. Uh, guys, thank you very much. I thought you played very well, thanks, especially yeah. you. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. Uh, coming up. <laughs> and thanks to the crowd as well. Thank you. <laughs> Terrible tackle. Uh, coming up, we'll be taking a look at the website for the new X-Men film. Schnick, schnick. Uh, but first, a bit of musical <laughs> appreciation. Schnick. Yes. Hi there, this is Download and there is no fresher, finer or faster way to get all the latest pop news, videos and gossip delivered right into your living room. Ah, now I would never attempt to bring you cutting edge news and gossip solo, so flying with me today is one third of Brit nominated band Fast and small, give it up for a big Ben of Wade. How very continental of you. Yeah, it's a very, very continental thing. Actually, in Switzerland, oh. um, which is where this cheese actually comes oh, from, yes, uh -huh. that's what they do. They do three kisses. But in Great Britain, we can just do a full snog if you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Now, listen, uh, what have you been up to this week then? 
Um, well, I've been in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. um, I've also been in Manchester, and I've also been hanging out with Keith Duffy from Boyzone. Really? So what were so, you doing in Switzerland? Switzerland, we was promoting the album. It's so funny over there, man. Really? Yeah, I, I think I've got you know vertigo. You know, <laughs> this feels comfortable for me. It's all slopes and sort of like walking up hills and stuff. Yeah. It's really, really weird. We've done this club and like being outside this club and that, and the weirdest sight to see: 300 cars chained to the club. So you know like you train your bicycles over yeah, here, but well, they yeah. chain their car so that they don't slide down okay, sort of that? during the gig. And, really. and you're wearing some of those very chains today, aren't you? Because yeah. you're jangling oh, yeah, yeah, all <laughs> Jangle, jangle. All right, no, no, I've got to hold down on the jangles. But yeah, no, I actually took this chain off a car when I was over there. Very nice. <laughs> very nice. Well, listen, you mentioned Keith Duffy from Boys. Keith, what have you been hello, Keith, my old son. You are watching, or should I say, chat from the morning to you. I'm is, it, is he watching the show? Yeah, Keith's watching right now. All right, mate. I was hanging out with Keith. Keith's doing the spot of presenting. Right. Um, so we've done this show together in Manchester. I bet he's getting some tips from you right now. Well, I, I don't know, Keith. You've got to work, you've got to work when you're small. <laughs> but no, no, he's really, really cool. So we've been hanging out. He's an old friend of mine. I used to know him when I was in a boy band and stuff. So he's hanging right. out. Tell me some exclusive stuff about Boyzone. <gasps> you know, Boyzone fans, they will be back in October. Steve's coming out of the single. Ronan's working with a massive star. I'm sworn to secrecy right now in LA. And uh, Keith's doing presenting. Mikey's got a management company. Wow. And Shane's driving cars. You heard it here first. Good How stuff. exciting is that? Now listen, you also uh, got stood up by Mariah Carey, didn't you? Well, Keith actually told me that Mariah stands up all her fellas. She just yeah. leads them on, and I got set up. Now, I was presenting MTV in the week with June. Hello, June. Absolutely. June's watching as well. And uh, yeah, and then Mariah's went to come down, and we had this thing, you know, Mariah, you're on fire, and this and that, and then we found out that she had a flat tyre. So, Mariah, you're on fire, and you've got a flat tyre as well. So, so listen, can I take it that it is official that celebrities watch Bedrock then? Totally. June, Keith, you know, everyone's probably watching. Ronan in LA is watching. Right <laughs> cool. now. <laughs> now listen, Ben, you and the boys are up uh, for Best Newcomers at the Brits next month. Are you... So chuffed. Next week? Next week, yeah. Next, next week, week, of course, yeah, it's nice. Friday. Friday. Oh. Yeah. Um, are you excited about seeing Will Smith I perform? I am. I'm totally. Will Smith oh. is the man of the moment. He and I'd really like to see him shaking his stuff and freaking it and Wild Wild West and all those sort of things. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned the new single. And no doubt, Will will be performing his new single, Freaking It, which is out on March the 6th. It's a cool song. And here's a clip of it right now. Woo! Oh, freak it. Oh, yeah, we like that. Now, did you know that apparently when this, yeah. Will Smith's in town um, for the Brits, he's also going to be um, recording an audience with for ITV? Really? Now, how cool would it be to be in the audience if for that? If my record company are watching, please get me a ticket. <laughs> audience with Will Smith. You know, I have to go on TV and flag these things. Like, they don't I listen know. to me. Cool, me OK. So, listen, what is it, do you think, that makes Will Smith so popular? Um, good vibe. You know, gen generally good person, good energy, positive energy, makes people feel good. You he make does. people feel good, Will. He's absolutely right. I no, he is, he's, he's, he's an incredible artist, definitely. He the man. Yeah. OK, man, right, man. let's get the spin on the week's most juicy bit of pop gossip in Big Ben's news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that sound. You can know what? Can we have it again, please? please. Thank Excellent. you very much. You know what, I brought, I brought these, like, these notes along because it yeah. makes me feel like a proper newsreader. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's good, you know, <laughs> that's good. So what, what, what news have you got for us? Um, well, allegedly, mm -hmm. now this is all alleged, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So I did actually say, Puff Daddy, if you're watching, it's alleged. <laughs> but, um, sure is, watch Puff <laughs> Daddy and uh, his bodyguard, apparently, they bribed someone, because you know he's got a court case coming up with yes. him and Jenny in, this, um, in a nightclub and there was this thing yeah. going on. Anyway, yeah. he bribed someone for $50,000. And a diamond ring. Oh, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Wow. Bribe someone to say that, you know, that it wasn't him and he wasn't involved in it and yeah, all that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, but, um, Puffy, I want $50,000, but the diamond <laughs> ring, I could, I could definitely do that. And, and, no, it's a funny thing, because they told him at the, he was at the Grammy Awards yeah. on Wednesday night. Yes. And actually told him there, you know, yes. you're, you've been charged for he bribing was, someone. So it's kind of really, really weird. He was looking lovely at the, at the Grammys, as was Jennifer Lopez. But, um, yeah. he's a very bad boy, um, but he does know how to write a hit single. He's he got does. a new one out on Monday. It's called Saturday. Satisfy you, which was a number one hit in the US. Very cool video. Now, the nominations for the Brit Awards have been dominated by dance music, and you've got a bit of an exclusive dance music news, haven't you? Yes, this is a download exclusive, because download is an exclusive channel. You know that, don't you? <laughs> no, no, not a channel, exclusive yeah, yeah. program. Um, but the new Monaco song, mm -hmm. um, they follow up their Brit nominated song, yeah. Sing It Back, which is actually a brilliant is song. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that you all know that. And uh, it comes out on uh, March 20th. It's an acoustic track right. called The Time Is Now. Oh. Another good news about Monaco is that they will be touring in May. Hey. So, Monaco fans, Watch out for my loco in May. Cool. This is a great track. Well, listen, thank you very much for joining thank me. It's so been a much. pleasure to have you back on the show. Thank you. Good luck at the Brits next week. Yeah, I will be coming in from the Brit Awards, from the after party. Dark, if I'm wearing dark glasses next week, it's it's coming in from the Brit Awards. Excellent. And I'll tell you all the news about it. Will you take some sneaky pictures for us? 
Oh, of course I will. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 This is the battle plan for the next morning. I want you to come back after the break, harder and faster. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, yeah. They're not going to expect that now. How do we do that, Private Cole? Well, sir, we, um, sir, we do. Spit it out, Cole! Sir, yes, sir. Okay, this is how it's going to work, Private Chairman. I want you to take those boys who we've seen for Snog and Karaoke Gears and put them in the sofa room. Sure, yes, sir! Right, and we'll hide the girl in the other room. They're never going to find her there. Sure, yes, sir! No! All right, very good. Oh, sir! Duh. Shall I go? <laughs> Shall I go ahead and organise the sports desk and bring in five friends and as well? Sir, sir. Good thinking, Private. Brendan Cogan, that was. <laughs> sports desk, sir! Yeah. Okay, right now, Private Cogan, I want to take the boys' room. I want sir, you... sir! I want you to secure a position beside the computer. Sir, sir! And I want you to spray the brand new X Men website in the bookmarks. Understood? Sir, sir! Sir, sir! Sir, sir! Sir, sir! Sir, sir! Right, we're in good shape. I think, for the next part. Dismiss! Yes, <laughs> Welcome back to Bedrock. Coming up, three pop pretenders will get crooning to get one lady swooning in Karaoke Kiss. Neil's going to be showing you the website for the upcoming Fantastic X-Men movie. And Northern Line will introduce their new video. But right now, I've been joined by Radio 5's Brendan Coogan for the Sports Desk. Brent, it's great to have you back with us. Thank you very much indeed. How have you been? been? Oh, very good, thank you. Had a lovely week? Uh, yes, a lot of international football and uh, been watching the tennis. Greg Rosetsky today, of looking course, out for him the in the ATP. Down in, How's uh, he getting on? It's, it's Kafelnikov he's got, isn't it? It's Javelny, Kafelnikov. Kafelny. The moany from... It, oh, he's always oh, a right... Oh, giving it all, that, giving well. it all that about the moaning court. Moaning about the surface, Comes over here, beats our players, moaning about the court. What's he like, eh? <laughs> well, there you go, that's one chump. But, uh, in fact, there's big sporting week this week and we need to know who your official chump and champs are going to be. So who's going to be your chump this week? My chump this week is... <laughs> Rolling the timing. Me. From the weird <laughs> put you. From the weird and wonderful world of basketball. There you go. See the way basketball... Did, the basketball. I like what you did there. It's got to be the Stan Collymore of the NBA, um, Dennis Rodman. Dennis the weird. He's made, he's made a bit of a comeback. He's been out of the game for a few years oh. and he's got back with the Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. In his second game back, he got his first ejection. It's the equivalent of a red card yeah. in football. That's his first and ejection for them. That's his first ejection. He's had 23 in his career so far. So that's he's, just incredible. He's not a good boy. He's a bad boy. Uh, pierced, tattooed all over, and he's an angry man. And he's, ha he's had this ongoing feud with um, David Stern, the NBA con uh, commissioner. And they, he, he suggested, once he got ejected, that they settle their differences in the boxing ring. And I quote, this is Dennis Rodman, let's get into the ring, he'll get naked, I'll get naked, let's get it on. <laughs> That's a whole different sport, isn't it? What a chump. <laughs> that absolutely. What a chump. What he's a sort chump. of like the, uh, the Vinnie Jones of the basketball world. Well, he's kind of got a bit of Stan in there, a bit of Gaza, and of course with his, uh, you know, penchant for uh, ladies' clothes, a bit of the uh, David Beckham in there as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Who can blame him? Penchant. OK, that was the uh, nice word well used. The word of the day. That was your chump. <laughs> Who's going to be this week's champ? This week's champ is... From the wonderful world of show business, no, English football. Football? Kevin Keegan. Ah, the man himself. I'm, not his, I'm not his biggest fan, because he's, he's obviously overtly enthusiastic and positive, he and it, sometimes he? he doesn't quite kind of focus on the negative enough. Um, but he got slated for his team selection against Argentina, and of course everyone knows they romped home to a fantastic nil-all draw. Sure. Uh, but no, his, his team selection was vindicated. Dennis Wise was in there, old boy, making a comeback, mm -hmm. played very well. And, um, and of course, you know, Emil, Emil Heskey. Heskey up front, you know, Did the didn't quite get the goal, but yeah, so uh, Kevin Keegan, champion of the league. The thing that confuses me about Kevin Keegan, I do understand that he took a chance with the squad and he played those players, they all came off. Yeah. He has, um, it's, it's Phil Neville. I mean, I know that he wants to give everybody a chance, but why, I don't understand why he brought Phil Neville on at the, in the, at the end of the second half, because he knows... Cheers, Ben. Oh yeah, man, new fan. <laughs> don't be no, got Phil Neville. Well, no, but I'm not having a go at Phil Neville. We know what he can do, but why didn't he bring Trevor Sinclair on? What? We don't, we don't know what Trevor can do yet. Get Trevor on the pitch and he'll prove that he's the future of England football. <laughs> Spot the West Ham fan. Can you? Can you? <laughs> yeah, there's a temperature there or something, mate. It's anyway, the only problem being, it was a good result in theory. It was very good. We need another game before Brazil and we haven't got There's a few more warm-up games before Euro 2000, but, you know, the signs are good. There's a few young players coming through and, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Two steps forward, one step back. Let's hope they do the business against Brazil. 
Cool, OK. There you go. Uh, good supporting knowledge there from you there, Brendan. Well <laughs> Thank done. Thank you very much. Uh, however, we need to go forward because it's time for you to use your special powers with the big prediction. Now, uh, if I cast my mind back and remember rightly, your hazy crystal ball uh, predicted that Ireland would beat England in the opening six nations. In fact, they got uh, rammed 50 points to 18. Have you anything to say? Um, well, I was just trying to redeem myself with Rachel, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right. Was, that, was this you? It was... No. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah. yeah. So, I, obviously, I didn't think, you know, Ireland were uh, really going to beat England. But for my big prediction this week, I'm going to look into my crystal ball here now because I'm getting, I'm getting visions of foxes getting on planes. It's a bit confusing. Ah, now I see what it is. It's Leicester winning the Worthington Cup final. Really? Or Getting Sunday. on that plane, going into Europe, having won it. Of course, this is I'm afraid, I just think, you know, the crystal ball, I can see Dave Chalmers, big throw. Big, big throws. Big, big throws. 46 metres. Asleep, at least. He should be throwing a javelin. He should, shouldn't he? And, uh, and, but I'm afraid, it's tram, um, are just going to be a bit too weak for Leicester City, I'm afraid, you know. I can see Leicester City, I mean, big victory at Wembley. You, did, you mentioned Dave Challenger. I don't think, I don't wonder if you can get that. You can mention Dave Challenger. That is look the, at range the range of his throw. It's throw. incredible. Look at, the, look at the size on that. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure. I think, like you say, Leicester will just be a dogged defensive side and, and score Absolutely. Out and and Emil Heskey riding the crest of a wave. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, that's pleasure. it from Sports Desk, unfortunately. You'll come back and see us again very soon. Soon, hopefully. And you're going to hang around for a little bit of karaoke kiss? And a little bit of rape, yes. <clears throat> yes, you will. I should leave it right there. Right now, though, here's Northern Line with Love on the Northern Line, which is released on Monday. Oh, great song. Yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome to the bookmarks in Bedrock, where we get the mouses working hard for us. I'm very pleased to welcome Andy and Warren from Northern Line. Thanks for joining We're me, boys. We're very pleased to be welcome. Thank you. No, yeah. uh, that's your welcome. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know, in fact, that when I typed the words Northern Line in the Google search engine on the internet, I found over 500,000 results relating to you. Brilliant. We are One of the weirdest I found <laughs> was this fan site uh, from a fan in Canada who's never even heard your music, but, but he set up a website in your honour. Don't be scared, but it's called Northern Line Run For Your Life! As you can see up there. Um, now, there's got a great guest book on it, and one of the, your female fans mm -hmm. put in the guest book, I quote, Northern Line are gorge. I saw them in concert, and they are lush. When Andy and Zach get wet, it's lush. <laughs> Obviously, lush is the only word she knows. Uh, Warren, do you ever get wet? Oh. Do, I, do yeah. I get wet? Yeah. Because she talks about, you know, Andy and Zach, but... No, no, that's not, that's not my game. I don't do that. <laughs> very good, very wise. So, not lush? I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. Um, OK, that's a super fan, I have to say. Super, super fan super from Canada. Fan. Thank so you, thanks for that. Fan, if you're yeah. watching, in Canada, how is it? Uh, <laughs> OK, but from super fans to superheroes. Do you like that? Yeah. OK, um, have you guys ever met any mutants? Apart from me. Um, not down in the sewers lately. How about you, Warren? Uh, my manager. <laughs> <laughs> not Sorry, even, <laughs> Not even at the Aylesbury Ducks? No, no OK. No, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if, like me, you've spent far too long in comic shops, uh, like Forbidden Planet, you won't be a stranger to the X-Men. Uh, now, of course, the X-Men were gathered together by Professor X. Wow. And here is that they have, of course, special mutant powers, and Professor X uh, tries to get them to save the Earth. Yeah. This is the official Marvel comic X-Men site. Now, I saw the trailer very... in the cinema for Did you? I'm going to show it in a second. Wow. It's amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, well, this is the official site. You've got all kinds of stuff, shopping, competitions, links to some great games. There's a really good uh, Spider-Man game. But I have to ask you, first up, if you could have a special mutant <coughs> superpower, what would it be? Um, X-ray vision or flying, probably. X-ray vision or flying, quite yeah. good. I'd say the power of conversion to make people think what I'm thinking. Yeah, you're absolutely right! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'd breathe underwater. There you go. Uh, uh, Lush. <laughs> anyway, most excitingly, as you mentioned, is the preview, the trailer for the new X-Men movie. Now, I found this. Uh, on X-Men the Movie website, look at this. This is the website, for, it's official. It's not even finished construction yet, but look how cool this is. It's rumbling the screen, the whole screen is rumbling. Okay. Look at that, it's okay. uploading it. Right, now from this site, I found the trailer. And if you're wondering what that thing is that you see when you go into the cinema, it's for this film. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Hang on a sec. <laughs> That's what we made earlier. <laughs> I shall find it. Here we go. Right, honestly, this is so cool. But the problem is that the, the, um, I have too many things up on the line there. I am Professor X, I am a mutant, and I know how these things work. Here we go. Right, here we go. I'll make it bigger. I will make it bigger. It is worth the wait. I do apologize for that.
hold on to something. Look at that, that's July the 14th in the, in the States, of course. It looks wow. amazing. Yeah. But I have got one last thing to show you, and most importantly, very quickly, I have to show everyone at home, I have a very important net announcement. If you visit the UK um, Cable Guide home site, okay, this is the, then you click onto um, this icon over here, uh, there it is, the Cable Guide 2000 Awards, right? You can vote for Bedrock on here. Go to question 12, come on, we're gonna rig this. <laughs> um, go down here. There we go, 12, vote for Bedrock, and then, if you want, uh, you can vote for me, Neil Cole, under number 13, for favourite UK cable TV personality, or Ben, Rachel, or Heather, if you, you know, if that's your bag, but obviously, uh, Neil Cole in there would be lovely. There you go, vote now, Good online, vote now, the Cable Guide, 2000 awards, here we are. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. I'm sure you're going to stick around, aren't you? Because Absolutely. it's time for yeah. the best game of love and TV a bit later. Here it comes! <laughs> Three princes have been been practicing all week for this moment. But only one of them is going to get the crown. Mm -hmm. It's a right royal game of singing and snogging. It's karaoke kiss. <sighs> okay, here are the guys who plan to sing sweet love into our chooser who's coming up next door. Let's meet them. Hi, you guys. How are you doing? Good uh, it's brilliant to have you all here. We're going to start with you, Alex. What have you been up to, Alex? You up for a good sing-song today? Oh, definitely. You definitely. feeling good? Feeling great. Feeling pumped? Pumped. That's what Thank I'd like it. to see, Alex. Who are you going to be for us? I'm going to be Mr George Michael. Ah, what, because you're a big fan of Wham or just... Oh, a big fan of Wham, big fan of his new stuff as well. All right, so why are you going to be Georgie boy? Well, I'm just looking for a bit of fast love and hopefully the lady on the side is as well. I'm sure she is right. and uh, best of luck to you, Alex. Uh, Thank best you. luck later on. Craig, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. You up for a good snog? Indeed. Been practicing the old technique? Yeah. Good man. Uh, who are you going to be for us? I'm going to be Boyzone. Boyzone? I've got with Keith that sat at home and watching. It's the ultimate audience. Are you going to be anyone in particular from yeah, Boyzone? Ronan Keating. Mr Keating, of course. Uh, why are you going to be Ronan? Because uh, tonight I know she'll pick me no matter what. No matter what, indeed. Uh, I like your style, Craig. Best of luck to you. And finally, Justin, how are you doing? Hello, right, mate. Uh, who are you going to be for us? I'm going to be Backstreet Boys. Ah, a big, big, big favourite of our Heathers next door. Why are you going to be the Backstreets? Because uh, I'll give her all I have to give. I'm sure you will. Best of luck to all three of our boys here. It uh, looks like they're ready to sing, but is our chooser ready to listen? Let's find out. She's with Heather next door. OK, I've been joined by the lovely Michelle. Michelle, welcome to Karaoke Kiss. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining us. Are you well? I am, thanks. Excited? Mm -hmm. Good. Now tell us, first up, are you single just now? Yes, I am. Good, let's proceed. Now, whose songs get the love inside you going? Um, I think uh, Ricky Martin and Mambo Latina kind of thing. Oh, ooh. and which singers make you cringe? Oasis. <laughs> you don't like Oasis? No, I can't stand Oasis. Too bushy eyebrows, I think. Anyway, if you had to sing for your snog, um, what would it be? I'd sing Mariah Carey. If I could sing like Mariah Carey, I'd sing a song. Like really? Yeah, a bit of a ballad type thing? Yeah. Excellent. Okay then, well, Ben's been chatting to the lads and they're ready for action. Are you ready to be wood and could? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> Good, let's get this singing underway with the maestro of music, Ben, next door. Thank you very much, Heather. We have a very excited atmosphere in the bedrock Karaoke Kiss so far today. Joining us with some musical expertise for today's proceedings are the fantastic Northern Line. Yay! On the other end of the sofa, we have the fantastic Jonathan Kerrigan. Yay! Big Ben is nestled on the floor there. Yay! Between the ever so strong legs of Brendan Coogan. <laughs> And of course, the fantastic Ryan's here, and yeah, Rachel, yeah. and Neil down the front. We need, to, we need to you get this mean? show on the road, so let's get our number one singer up to the mic. Please welcome George Michael to the microphone. Uh, Georgie boy, what are you going to be singing for us? Faith. OK, I think you might need it being George. OK, remember, <laughs> singing to the start is our love buzzer. The second time you get that buzzer, unfortunately, you're going to have to stop. A lovely lady next, to, next door can hear you, but she can't see you, so just enjoy yourself. You ready? Definitely. Bring that noise. Well, I guess it would be nice if I can touch your body. I know that everybody's got a body like you. 
Well, I gotta think twice before I give my heart away. And I know all the games you play, gotta play them too. Well, I reconsider my foolish notions. Wow. Thank you very much, George Michael. Despite, as ever, our rhythmically challenged yeah. um, <laughs> percussion section, you did absolutely brilliant. There you go, George Michael, our next singer for your enjoyment and for Keith's enjoyment at home. Keith, let us know what you think is the fantastic Ronan Keaton from Boys and Ronan. Please welcome him to the mic. <laughs> Ronan, what are you going to be singing for us? Baby, can I hold you tonight? I'm sure you can. Now then, remember, <laughs> the signal to start is the love buzzer. The second buzzer you hear it means you're going to have to stop. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's bring that noise. I love you is all that you can say. All right. Yeah. Years See, gone by and still. Words don't come easily. Still got a stutter. Like I love you. Love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Big up Ronan Keating, I think Heather's going to storm the sofa in any minute. That was the fantastic Ronan Keating with a brilliant rendition. Okay, finally we come to our last band. No means our least band, it is of course the Backstreets. Please welcome them. <laughs> okay then, uh, Mr. Streets, what are you going to be singing for us? So now I'm going to be singing Everybody. Fantastic, hey. now then remember, signal to start is the love buzzer. The second buzzer is just signal to stop. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's bring that noise. Uh, Am I original? Yeah. yeah! Am I the only one? Yeah! Am I sexual? Yeah! Am I everything you need? You better rock yeah. your body now, everybody! Yeah! yeah. Rock your body! Yeah! yeah. Everybody! Yeah. Rock yeah. your body right! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful backstreets there. Only one word for the chorus to sing and I still got it wrong. Um, <laughs> guys, you're unstoppable, but unfortunately only one of you is going to get a snog. Now we need to find out who's going to get the action, so we need to go next door and find out from the young lady who's warming up right now. Oh, I'm so out of breath because I was doing it singing. They were brilliant, the boys, weren't they? Oh yeah, very good. Yeah. Very, 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 very good. Listen, the boys have given their all, but who's going to get all of your attention today? Um, is it going to be hold on, <laughs> George Michael? Is it going to be Boys Own, or is it going to be the Fantastic Backstreet Boys? Um, they're all really good, but I think it's um, Boys Own. Woo! He sounded very like Lauren, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. okay, well now it's time for Ben to bring on your karaoke queen. Okay then, Michelle, are you ready for this? It's time for you to meet your karaoke crooner in the flesh. Let's bring Craig in. In three. <laughs> In two, in one, in you come, mate. <laughs> Craig, you're our karaoke king. Hold on, of steady, steady, steady. <laughs> steady on, right. Craig, meet Michelle, Michelle, meet Craig. Now, it's right. time for my favourite part of the show, and it's a very private moment, so we want you to enjoy it, and we're going to nip next door. Mm. Okay? Craig, make sure you say your piece, and you get stuck in, and you make it a good one for us. We'll be watching you next door. Have fun. Excellent. Well done. Hi, Michelle. Hello. I've been boys on for you today. Please can I have my karaoke kiss. OK, here you go. <laughs> oh no, okay, well, after the break, let's we talk. After the break, <laughs> stop it. Simmer down. After the break, we'll be giving away the ultimate night in kit in our musical competition, Who's Groove? First off, we've got a Friends Video Series 6 uh, box set that isn't even out in the shops yet. Here's a little taster. Oh, woo. Okay, also, what is with these chips you bought? No, 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 it's potpourri. You're supposed to smell it. <laughs> cool. Plus, and this is much better than Ellen McPherson any day of the week in my <laughs> eyes, no. we've got a year's supply of Celebrations chocolates, and this is just a tiny sample! Now, listen up. To win Woo! prizes, one, watch this dance routine very carefully and tell us what's the band and what's the song. What's, what's the, the band, band and what's, what's the, the song? song? Here's the routine. <laughs> bounce, 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 bounce. Slide across. Slide across. Inhale the passion. Smell the aroma. Blah, blah, blah. Kneel. Look at me. Have a heart. 
<laughs> there you go. Who are those freaks? Anyway, what's the band and what's the song? I'll give you a clue. This God, is a classical fluid video. Loops. My real R&B newcomer. Oh, uh, well, you know you want the vids and you know you want the chocolate. <laughs> so pick up the phone and call us right now. You can call us on 0870-600-6606. Really easy. Plus, right, phone in right now on 0870-600-6606. Okay. Carl's calls will be charged at national rate, which is about 10 few minutes. Really easy. Just phone oh. in, win all this. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we'll be introducing you to the new, more mature look steps in their new video. Our video clerk, Ryan, will be checking out Eddie Murphy and Pierce Brosnan's new videos. Excellent. You're watching television. You're watching ITV2, and, and this, this is everybody. Okay, uh, welcome back to Bedrock. Coming up, we'll be showing you the most daring steps of video ever. And Ryan, our video clerk, will be reviewing Life, Rushmore, and the Thomas Grown Affair. Now, Jonathan. Uh, yes, sir. Um, <coughs> come sit by me. What's that? Sit All right, anyway, <laughs> we've got a little email for you. Yep. Okay, it's from Georgie from Slough, who's a massive casualty Hello, fan. And um, we want to know who would you most like to nurse, who would you most like to nurse you back to health if you were ill? Uh, I'm going to have to be a good boy and say Claire Goose, my girlfriend. Oh, no, sweet. Bless. It's pretty sweet. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Actually, no. hold on. No, <laughs> no, Claire Goose. Claire. 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 Don't ruin it, you were no, doing so no. well. Right, it's time now to check up on our roving golden haired retriever, Tess Daly, and our 321 fetch. <laughs> At the start of the show, we sent Tess out to fetch us the best girl celebrator she could find. She reported back earlier and had found two hacky sackers who ran off with her. I hope she's all right. Her second report's queued up and ready to go. Let's see how she's doing. OK, I'm out, I'm about, and I think I found the guy who's scoring with the most emotion. Let's fill it, John. I just got going to what? Thank you. I might have my man. Ooh. See you back at the studio. Mmm, interesting barnet, it has to be said. How does that girl celebration um, rate in your eyes? Oh, absolutely, 10 out of 10. That's fantastic. You think that's a 10 I'm, out of 10? I've never seen anything like that. Never? No, never. It was no, amazing. Definitely not wandering around the streets, anyway. Yeah, it's not as good as Alan Shearer. Oh, <laughs> no. No, I'm a bit of a Curon Dyer fan myself. Mm. Okay, coming up, the most ambitious steps video ever, but next door, things are flexing and warming up. Swing and smile. Polish on, polish off. Wax on. Welcome to Benny and Nelly's Fluid Moves. Certainly does. I'm Nelly. You may recognise me. I was the spoonful of sugar in Mary Poppins. Do you recognise him? I'm Benny. I was the meatball in Mamma Mia. Together we are... Fluid, Fluid moves. moves! It certainly does. And here we are for you. We want you to win a fantastic prize in our competition, Who's Grooved So Badly. Now, we're going to do as much as we can to help you. We'll perform part of a well-known pop dance routine. All you have to tell us is what's the band and what's the song. What's the band and what's the song? Now, I'm really pumped about today's routine, Ben. You certainly are, dear Lightning. Now, just remember to treat the piece with a lot of respect. Yes. Music is our master. This is a bit of a departure for Neil, uh, Nelly and myself it's today. It's a character piece. Yeah, it's a character piece. We'll be playing a duo. Uh, yes. So now, um, before we dance for you, we'd like to get a bit of celebrity help in. We're very uh, excited. Coming in, Michael and Andy from Northern Line. <laughs> Welcome, boys. Come here. Take the stage, lovey. Okay. okay. Are you feeling supple? Oh, very. We've been stretching. Have a good stretch. Go on, yeah. give it a nice good stretch. Okay, right. Take our positions. Oh. Go. Okay. I think we're ready to perform the routine now. You ready, guys? Yeah, ready. Step forward slightly. Okay, now yeah. remember, we're looking for the name of the band and the name of the song. It's a character piece, guys. Two things. Remember the name of the band, the name of the song. Mm. But when you consider this is for a year's supply of chocks and the video box set, it doesn't seem that much, does it? No. no. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's move fluidly. Fluidly. Here's the dance. Ready, guys? Five, okay. six, six, seven, eight. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. Slide. Across. Slide. Slide. Across. Across. Smell the aroma. <laughs> Inhale the passion. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Neil. Look at me. Where's your heart? Oh, okay. Hutch. Not oh, yet. I want him. I want him. I want him. I want you. I want you. Bravo. Bravo. Uh, how good are we? <laughs> Let's Let's go straight to the lines. Who's there? Hello? Is that Louisa? Hi. Hi, yeah, it's Louisa. Hi, Hi Louisa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Now, oh, thanks, lovely. Thanks for calling in. Now, who do you think of the band and the song? Who do you think it was? It's um, Camellia and the tune is Money. Yeah. Let's see if you're right. Well, there we go. Well done. She was right. Um, Thank you. We got 
called Lizzle on the Hop there. I don't think yes, you realise that. Uh, we were getting carried away talking to these supple young chaps here. Uh, you've won a year's supply of chocolate and the video box set. How do you feel? Wonderful, thank you. I'm very hungry as well. Ah, but remember, a moment on the lips, forever on the hips. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a great night, you can have a great night. Thank and you very much. Great night. Michael, Andy, thank you so thank much you. for coming thank in. Thank you, it was an honour to work with the professionals. You were wonderful. It thank was a pleasure you. having you dance with Food Moves. <laughs> now, in a moment, that very cuddly video club, oh. Ryan will be checking out three hot video <sighs> rentals. But first, here's the master, oh. Steps, with their new video. They're very different video. Fluid Moves! Ah, Welcome masters. to the part of the show where we take a big look at the small screen. It is the Bedrock Video Clark, and here's Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing? How's your week been? Fine. Wicked, mate. Brilliant, loads of videos, lots good. happening. Cool. Good. OK, I know you've got three good ones for us to take a look at this week, so let's push right on and check out our first release, which is The Thomas Crown Affair. There it is. So first up, what's the tagline for this film? How do you get the man who has everything? Mmm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Pierce Brosnan stars as Thomas Crown, the self-made millionaire who decides to steal priceless paintings for a giggle. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> <laughs> Only to get sprung by René Russo's insurance investigator. Ah. It's a remake of the classic fantastic 1968 Steve McQueen. McQueen movie. It features a cameo performance by Faye Dunaway, who co-starred with Steve McQueen in Wicked. the original movie. I love those t touches. OK, uh, what's the best bit, bit, please? <laughs> <laughs> best bit, 90 minutes, the grand finale. Yeah. Absolutely superb. It's got to be really? one of the best endings in a movie really? that I've watched. Yeah, it's brilliant. Because basically, he's, uh, he's bored, he gets kicked out of stealing um, art, so he's stolen this hundred million you know, dollar Pete Renoir, and right. he's going to put it back. How does he put it back? Uh -huh. And he comes up with this ingenious plan, and you're thinking, he's not, how can he do it? They're waiting for him, the room's <laughs> shut, so he, he's got um, a bowl hat, a coat. Don't spoil the ending. Don't spoil the ending. No, no, I'm not going to spoil it, and um, it's, uh, it's really okay. clear. I love movies like that, yeah. make you just go, whoa. Yeah. Uh, what's Couldn't the worst it? bit, please? The worst bit would have to be 50 minutes in, there's a scene where uh, René Rousseau is trying to um, steal his keys so right. she can get into his place because she knows he's stolen it. She knows without a doubt and he's very cocky. So she takes him out of his pocket, she plays all very cool because she's very sexy. She is. And mm -hmm. just at the end of the scene when she's um, saying goodnight to him, a little cheese kiss on the cheek, she slips the pockets back, the the keys. Pockets back in the pocket. No, yeah, she slips the keys in the pocket. <laughs> and um, it clunk. Oh, no. How Too obvious. obvious. I'm sorry. And he, you don't believe it? No, nah, I don't believe it at okay. all. Okay. Uh, it's got René in it. Is there a rude bit? So. Well, I won't mention the see-through black dress. Hello! Don't mention Hello, that, no. Wing. <laughs> but they have a fantastic romp around the house. Uh, no, oh. no, no room spared. What, what, cool. what minute was that? That was approximately 60 minutes in. 60 right minutes? Yeah. Okay, right okay. there we go. Uh, which shelf is it going to go on? Let's have a look at the yeah, barcode. And that one is a rental, rental. rental choice. Very good. Stick on the rental Without a doubt. And go let's and move watch on it to now. our second Step video, on. which yes. is Life. Sell us the film in one line, Ryan. Life. Share it with someone you love. <laughs> Indeed, yes. why not? Now then, Eddie Murphy came up with the idea for life while making uh, The Nutty Professor. <laughs> it stars Murphy himself and Martin Lawrence as two men wrongly convicted of murder and sentenced to life imprisonment, hence life. Now, life is actually up for the best Oscar in uh, best makeup category, <laughs> which is fair enough. Um, tell us, what, what's the uh, best bit of the film? The best bit would uh, once again be 90 minutes at the end. Um, it's, bit, it's quite bittersweet, actually, because they've been put away for 40 years. They were, they, um, I'm not going to tell you why, how, mm. but they find out that they're, um, they're, 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 they're yeah. And, oh. uh, but the guy dies before we can pardon oh. them. But Did it move I, you, Ray? It, I was moved. Moved. Horizontally and vertically. Fantastic. Okay. It was a moment. Sounds like a shunt, even. <laughs> um, <laughs> worst bit, what's the worst bit? <laughs> the worst bit would have to be 68 minutes. Um, one of their co-mates gets uh, pardoned, but he's been in there for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he doesn't, doesn't know any better, and he's absolutely you know, terrified, terrified yeah. of leaving. So he has this mad moment where he rushes for freedom and gets shot. It's yeah. Shawshank Redemption-esque, it yeah. sounds, sounds like. Sounds like it yeah. very much. OK, is there any rude bits? They're in a prison. <laughs> they are in a prison. Um, yes, there happens to be a little moment, a very small moment, 40 minutes in. <laughs> I'd imagine it would be very small. <laughs> it would be after all that time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Steady on. Hold it there. Um, his wife, his, his potential wife comes to visit him and he manages to uh, get a little room for conjugal, uh, rights. conjugal rights. But there's a twist because his lawyer <laughs> well, is that long in prison. <laughs> yeah, his uncle, um, his uncle's going to get him out and he ends up finding out he's, he's going to marry oh, his right. girlfriend. Oh, no. yeah. Cool, OK, well, that's what we need to find out is whether it's uh, mental or rental, so yeah. check the barcode. Yeah, I'll stop babbling. It's a rental. It's a rental. rental. Yeah, yeah, it's on a rental good. shelf. Nice cool. it's and Eddie Murphy not being Eddie Murphy, which is a nice change. Great. Cool. cool. The rental shelf. Now, today's final video is Rushmore. Uh, what's the poster line with this one, Ryan? For this one, it is love, expulsion, revolution. Cool.
God, sounds good. Uh, it's a romantic comedy starring Bill Murray and Jason Schwartzman. Schwartzman plays a troubled high school kid who falls for his first grade teacher and battles for her love with his tycoon mentor, who's played by Bill Murray. And critics have actually held this as Murray's finest performance for that's years. Best, uh, but there's only one, yeah, exactly. There's only one critic that counts, and that's our Ryan. Ryan, what's the best bit? Best bit is 45 minutes. Um, they're both uh, fancy the same teacher at the school, and obviously, you know, Bill Murray's a little bit older, and she strange enough goes for him. <laughs> so the young lad, uh, Jason Schwartzman, can't stand that. So there's a little vendetta and while Bill Murray's in a room, he sets bees in there and he's, he's running around. So then Bill Murray steals his bike and runs over. And it goes on twice. quite well, doesn't yeah, it? It's very funny. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. cool. Okay, so what's the worst bit? The worst bit is every scene that Jason Schwartzman's in. <laughs> Everything. Oh, he's so annoying. Oh no. You don't like him that. Not at all. Fair enough. Okay, any rude bits? Yes, there happens to be. Uh, 50 minutes, Jason Schwartzman tries to snog his teacher because he fancies her Hello. and uh, a huge rebuff. Right, OK, mm, fair enough, happened. sounds I good. I didn't ever fancy any of my teachers. Which shelf is it going on there? And it's... It's not going on any shelf, it's, it's a mental choice! It's, 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 it's mental, it's so bad we didn't want to put it it's up. OK, terrible. stick it on the it's mental. Rush more. Don't rush out to rent it, that's, that's all I That's two say. rentals and a mental. Which clip are we going to see? It's got to be uh, Thomas Crown Affair. Okay. Okay. It's not the best or worst, but it's one of many great bits. It's where the tension is just building up between the two lead characters. Cool, well, here it is right now. Are you trying to... Are you trying to imply that I had something to do with that painting? Trying. Thank you. No, I wouldn't call it an attempt. What's your take from this? Five percent of the value recovered. Oh. Bounty hunter. If you like. Always get your man? Mm-hmm. Think you'll get me? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> okay, coming up, we'll be treating you to Mel C's new video, Never Be the Same Again. Oh. Mm, and uh, Tess Daly will return to the studio with the fruits of her fetch mission. Whee. And Jonathan Kerrigan and Big Ben of Weirdo will be teaming up to take on the might of Dan and Zach from Northern Line in Chucky Egg. Yeah. 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 Some serious talking to do. You're watching television, you're watching ITV2, and you're watching Bedrock. Of course you are. Oh, yeah, of course bedrock, you are. It? Yeah, it is Bedrock. It's Bedrock. Yeah. Is it Bedrock? <laughs> bedrock. Yeah, it's Bedrock. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Bedrock. Coming up, Dan and Zach, Northern Line. We're taking on Big Ben and Jonathan Kerrigan in Chuck the Egg. And if you're good, we'll show you Mel C's new video on this very screen. Neil, what are you doing? I'm making sure the screen's clean. You know what I mean? You nanny goats. Bah. Easy, geez. This is a quality gaff, and our punters demand quality viewing. Put those down. What? Do me a favour. Stand up straight and start acting tough. Come on. I don't like the look of you. Actually, you're not that bad. Come in, come on through and check out Mel C's new video. And look how clean this screen is. Go on. It's lovely. Welcome. I am the Eggmaster. I, too, am the Eggmaster. We, we am the Eggmaster. Egg mm. Two chosen ones must now battle each other for fantastic prize with the help of celebrity teammates. It's Chucky Egg. <laughs> Today's teams. <laughs> On Team Sylvia, it's Dan and Zach from Northern Line. <laughs> but let's bring in their egg-headed le leader. She loves A1 and The Simpsons, and she's 13 years old. Yes, it's Sylvia! Now, in fairness, Sylvia, the girls have had a bit of a bad run of late, so what are you going to do to break that? To win. Yes! Good it's not cool. Okay, let's move on. Already set for Team Edward, I reach for the moons Jonathan Kerrigan and Big Ben from Fats and Small. Oh! But they're Get nothing. Ah. They are nothing without their hard boiled captain. Let's get him in. He loves football, basketball, and the dream team DJs who were on last week's show. It's Eddie. Come on! Yeah! You know Sylvia and her team are out to clear the name of all the girls that have lost. Uh, are you willing to face that challenge? Thank you. Let's, let's just know, know one thing. They are going down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Your man is very confident. Here are the rules. I ask the questions, you have to try and answer the questions. If you get a question correct, you can hold on to the egg. However, if you get the question wrong, you have to throw it, not too hard, to the opposition, OK? <laughs> the team left holding the egg at the end of one and a half minutes will win this fantastic new game, which is Whack-A-Mole, which we demonstrated last week on the show. So, so the golden rule is to keep hold of Chucky Egg for as long as you possibly can. However, when I ch chuck the egg for hesitations or for other reasons, you must chuck it. Have you got that? Yeah. Egg okay. starts with Edward. Egg starts week. with the boys this week. Let's yeah. start the clock. <laughs> Question number one. Michael Owen plays for which football team? Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. Oh, I've got so excited. <laughs> Question number two. Sue so Edwards team. Uh, nominate someone to do a farmyard animal impression. Ben. Ben. By Edward's uh, mic. Alright. Okay, that's good. Yeah. chicken with yeah. Question <laughs> to Edward's time. Which female rock legend is about to make a special appearance on forthcoming episode of Ali McBeal? Check the egg, head station. Check the egg. It is in fact <laughs> Tina Turner. Now then, question. What sport do Sheffield Steelers play? What was that, sorry? What sport do the Sheffield Steelers play? You're not playing, Ice hockey. It is ice hockey, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Where does the singer Billy come from? Is it A, Sydney, B, Solihull, or C, Swindon? Uh, Swindon. It is Swindon, Yay! yeah. Question number four. Nominate someone to pull the ugliest face possible. Gone. <laughs> it's pretty ugly. Yeah. What's the capital of the country where the band Aqua are from? Oh, uh, What's the capital? Chuck the egg, chuck the egg, chuck the egg, chuck the egg. Chuck the egg, it was too much of a delay. An Italian scooter company has taken which group to court over prom promotional problems with their bikes? Spice Girls. It is the Spice Girls. The film, <laughs> Topsy Turvy, is about which musical writing duo? <laughs> it is Gilbert and Sullivan. What is a homo sapien? Oh, 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 man. It is a... Uh, uh, it's a on, oh, OK, we'll get it to you. Which metal is liquid at room temperature? Mercury. It is Mercury. Oh, the Duke of Wessex is better known as who? Ian Brown used to be the singer of which band before he went solo? We're out of time. We have a winner too. However, you cried to the last minute, however, don't feel too bad. We have, of course, got a few a pile of CDs from the chart at the moment as a special. Now then, the pressure hasn't ended for our Sylvia. Well done to you. You have won this fantastic prize. However, we are going to give you the chance to gamble. We are going to give you the chance to win an absolutely amazing prize, the All-Star Prize, which is four tickets to the reopening of Legoland Theme Park. It's Very exciting. You can gamble everything for that prize. However, okay, yes, the question is, if you get it, the question wrong, I'm afraid you go home completely empty-handed. Nothing. With nothing. Oh, well, so do you me. have the guts to gamble? gamble. Yes. Yay! Yay! She is. Gamble. Gamble. OK, this is the gamble question. In ten seconds, without any conferring, can you name four girl bands? The clock starts now. Be Witch, All Saints, Spice Girls and um, Madison. Hey! Yay! Congratulations, you have won all these fantastic prizes, Thanks. including this special Oasis album launch bag and oh, all that stuff. Oh, well, well done. Well done to both of our teams. It was a hard ball match. Let's give everyone a cheer. <laughs> Now it is time to see exactly who Tess Daly has managed to. Three, two, one. Match! Match! Okay, I have to relax and sit you down. Yeah. Okay. At the start of today's show, we sent Tess to fetch us the best goal celebrators she could find. We saw a second report a short while ago, and she'd found an amazing goal good celebrator. Good. Now he was wearing a very funny jumper, <laughs> and I think you'll agree his hairdo was. Not Pretty mad. Yeah. But anyway, can she go better? Well, let's see. Come on in, Tess. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. She's a baby. She's a baby. She's welcome back, Tess. Hi. Oh, my life has just brightened up again. Uh, <laughs> what kind of reactions were you getting out on the street? You got Some kidnapped. Large reactions. I know. I got tossed in the animal mode and carried off. I enjoyed oh. that. Like How did it rate to the other challenges we've set you before? Um, there's a lot of enthusiasm today. Really? There's really? a lot of wannabe David Beckham's out there. Did you, well, have, did, you, one that's did you have to sort of do any goal celebrations yourself just to get them in the mood? Yes. Really? Can, we, can, we, can we have a look? Oh, is that it? In the back that's good. Come on. Oh, that's good. Good. Can, come we, on. can we get Ben if we did to do one? Come yeah, come on. Come on. Okay, then, Tess. Tess, show us what you've 
fetch. Right, or who you fetch, sorry. Behind this door is the best goal celebrator I've ever met. Really? Mm hmm Come on in. In three, in two, in one! In the yeah. Life. He's a planet from Planet Earth, student of life. I like your style. Okay. What was your name again? Sorry, missed it. John. This is John. 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 Where are you from, I'm John? From the world. Hey! <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, let me set Where the scene. Where did you get found? <laughs> let me set the scene for you, John. Uh, you're at Wembley, which is a big place where they play football. Uh, England versus Germany in the finals of Euro 2000. You've go just scored this. the golden goal. Now go celebrate. Woo! Go on, John! Go on, John! Come on, John! Yeah! Come back over here, John. All I can say is, quite brilliantly, from the team of world football, <laughs> you have been well and truly fetched. Yay! Yay! Now, if there's anything you'd like Tess to fetch during Pexic <laughs> show, then please do get in touch with us. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like our work here is done. Oh, 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 sure. oh. We've reached the end of another fantastic show, so huge <laughs> thanks to all our guests, the brilliant Northern Lights. Right. Right. Bedrock experts, of course, Ed Sanders, Ryan, and of course, Brendan. Yay! Yay! And, Brent, and of course, a perfectly timed Big Ben yeah. update. Thanks also to everyone who took part in our games and competitions. You're brilliant. Thanks for that. You've, you've been, been watching, watching television, you've been watching ITV. Television. Television. And this is Ben's 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 Ben's